Hi, I'm Lana, and I'm so glad as a returning student that you're choosing to stay in WKU Housing again next year. Your contract will start during the renewal process as you complete your application and sign the contract. While we do hope that you're here for a full academic year, sometimes students do need to move out prior to the spring semester. We would ask that you let us know and then follow all checkout procedures and return your key to make sure that you fulfill your contract. A part of that is a contract termination clause of your contract. That clause applies only to students who maintain full-time enrollment at the university and move out at the spring semester. You may cancel your housing by sending us an email at hrl.wku.edu. Please include your full name and your WKU ID number and state that you wish to cancel your housing application. If your roommate moves out at any point in the semester or academic year, you will have the choice of three options. The first option is to declare that room a private room, signing off an agreement and agreeing to pay the extra 25% more for the rate of a private room. The second option is that you can request your own room roommate. If you have somebody that you would like to invite into your room, you can follow the room change request process and both of you can request to move into the space in your room. The third option is called consolidation, and this is where we will ask you, along with other students in the same scenario, to consolidate rooms where one of you may move or you may accept just a new roommate moving into your room. Having to move rooms may seem unfair, but it's also not fair for you to stay in a private room and not pay the extra cost. Many returning students ask when they'll get their deposit back. Well, there are four stipulations for you to meet to be able to get your deposit back. The first one is, at the end of an academic year, you must check out of your residence hall room properly by following the checkout procedures. If you do that, and you have not renewed your housing for the next year, then you could be eligible for your deposit. The other two things that we check are, do you have any damages on file that might need to come out of that deposit, such as a lock change or any other damage? And finally, you can expect to get your deposit back only if you don't have any other bills at the university that are due. If you have any other questions about your housing application or the contract, please give us a call at 270-745-4359. You can also email us at hrl at wku.edu. And please consider following us on our social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We can't wait for you to make your home on the Hill.